Welcome everybody back to the Dark Knight Rider Games channel here on YouTube. Today, of course, is Friday, and we're going to be talking about, as you may have seen in the thumbnail, the upcoming game coming out next month in August is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and some more stuff also. So stay tuned, and we're going to go ahead, cut it to the intro, and we'll get right back to this video. Welcome to the Dark Knight Rider Games channel here on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. With all that being said, let's get right to the video. All right, so we're back from the intro. Um, so Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, is a new asymmetrical uh, multiplayer horror game. Of course, it's like the game Friday the 13th, if you played it. It was an awesome game. I remember when I first got that game playing online it of course was a mess obviously there was so many glitches and stuff and different people were able to cheat and like uh do some crazy stuff um fun times uh it's sad that of course the friday the 13th game is coming to a close uh they're getting ready to shut everything off for it i think uh in december is when they're cutting off where you can buy it anymore and then after that it's going to start um, they're going to stop um, supporting it. So it's sad to see that go, but we have a new game by Gun Media that is coming out, of course, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, as much as we know about this game, is it's it's only focused for the first movie. Uh, I know a lot of people have been like speculating and wondering if they're going to add like anything from the sequels or the prequel um, or even the reboot. Um, but I don't know if we're going to see that. Um, it's possible. It's very possible. I mean, they could surprise us with anything. I mean, unfortunately, you know, it's sad with what happened with uh, Friday the 13th. But, you know, there was so much they had planned to give us um, DLC-wise that never came to be. But obviously, if you have the PC version, you were able to get... Uh, Jason X and all that um, through modding, but you know there was a lot of stuff we were expecting and hoping we would have got. Unfortunately, that happened. But now that they have a new IP that they can, they're they're got a license to work with, um, which sounds like it's going to be in uh, better hands now. So this game should be able to get through without any problems hopefully um but i'm looking forward to playing that i am planning on doing a live stream of the texas chainsaw massacre the game in august um but yeah i i can't wait looks like it's gonna be fun i uh, do know we have three maps so we have the uh, family home map the uh, slaughterhouse and the gas station so interesting enough but we do have three killers so you get to play as the family or survivors so three people versus what was it four i think it's three v four if i'm correct so interesting it's going to be fun i can't wait um we'll see how launch does hopefully <laughs> i'm i'm i figured there's going to be people finding some glitches and stuff and trying to do some stuff like they did Friday the 13th at the, when it launched. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Another thing I'm wondering if they're going to have like offline modes like the bots or something like that. They may. I, I'm not for sure if they're going to do something like that. Or if they're going to do something with the, uh, the cabin. Um, some type of mode like that. Which is kind of kind of like a museum and it has like stuff from the movies mentioned in it but i do know we can unlock like the making of texas chainsaw massacre stuff like there's like 150 collectibles or something like that um that you can unlock over time and we can level up each character so which means we're going to be able to uh level them all up 
and earn some perks and stuff like that. Um, there's not too much we know about this game. Obviously, there was the uh, the beta they had for like people that actually were given codes for, but not too much to go on right now. I'm hoping they give us some more information this month because obviously it is getting close to launch. So, and I know a lot of people's been asking like, is there gonna be a collector's edition? Are we getting some like pre-order bonuses or something like that? I haven't seen anything. Um, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get like a Savini um, themed leather face or something like that. That would have been interesting, but Apparently not the case, unless they got something planned to drop this month. But uh, overall, I'm very hyped for this game. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, hopefully they will add more you know, stuff based off the other movies if they can. I know there is some licensing agreements with those too, but that they would have to get. But other than that, I can't wait. Uh, another game I've been also looking forward to is that's in that kind of genre is the Killer Clowns from Outer Space game. Now that game uh, we have no release date for. Um, we what we were told was originally it was supposed to come out like the beginning of this year, but unfortunately it got delayed. So the question is when is that one coming out? Um, it's another one of them games that I can't wait to play also. But there's not really much to talk about. But this is the month of July. There's a lot of stuff going to be announced. Obviously, if you're Five Nights at Freddy's fans, I will be doing some Ruin DLC stuff when that comes out. Um, so keep a lookout for that. But if you're into the whole uh, games like Friday the 13th, um, be on the lookout for my live stream for Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game. And with that being said, when we hear more news about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, stay tuned to this channel because that's where we'll have some more info for you all when the news comes out. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and also smash the like button. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.